If you've had COVID-19 and have since recovered, the Red Cross desperately needs your help. I talked to the region's director about the need for plasma from these people to help, and in some case, save the lives of others suffering from this brutal virus. So we're really trying to stay up with the demand, and the demand is completely outpacing the supply. Smith says nationally the Red Cross needs about 13,000 donors a day, and they're nowhere near that, causing longer wait times for this plasma. If you think about having a loved one that's waiting for some kind of treatment and knowing that this might help them, that you know, this is a treatment that's been um, been studied, more study is being done, um, but they can't get the plasma. We can't get the enough plasma to the medical facilities to help them. To donate plasma for this use, you can't just think you've had COVID-19, but had to have tested positive for it and now recovered. Even though right here in central New York, we're doing quite well um, as most of the state of New York, but the rest of the country is just being crippled by this disease. And this is one of the treatments that is deemed effective right now. But Smith says there are still people hospitalized here with COVID-19 and new hospitalizations almost every day. So there's still a need locally. Now it does take a little longer than giving blood to donate plasma because they're taking blood out of the donor separating the plasma from it and putting the blood back in. If you consider that just one recovered patient can help three others, um, you know, through this tragic time um, and possibly save lives, I think that's worth a little extra time in all our days. If you qualify, head to localsyr.com for more information. If you're just looking to give blood, the Red Cross will have a days-long drive at the Expo Center at the State Fairgrounds starting August 21st.